Stop scrolling. If the words Poet Technologies $75 million investment just hit the feed, this is the moment to separate hype from hard reality and figure out what this means for Poet stock in the race for AI optics. Today is not about loud predictions. It is about clarity, catalysts, and the one decision that separates smart money from fast money. Beyond the noise, find your clarity. This is smart money sense. From Wall Street to your wallet, this breakdown gives the exact story behind the $75 million private placement, how Poet's optical interposer really works, why AI data center optics at 800 gig and 1.6 terabit are exploding, and what catalysts could move Poet Technologies next. If that sounds like the signal in a sea of financial noise, stay with me. The difference between a trend and a thesis is what comes next. Here is the plan. First, what happened? The Poet Technologies $75 million investment in plain English. Second, what Poet actually builds and why the optical interposer matters. Third, the AI optics demand wave. 800G now, 1.6T next. Fourth, deal math. Dilution, warrants, runway. Fifth, stock behavior and why the tape moved. Sixth, the risk map. Seventh, the near-term catalyst that could change positioning in a single headline. If that roadmap helps, tap. Like so, the algorithm knows this is worth pushing to investors who care about real analysis. And do not skip, because the disclosure window for the investor behind this deal might be the single most important near-term catalyst for Poet stock. Segment 1. What happened and why it matters? Poet Technologies closed a $75 million non-brokered private placement with a single institutional investor. Translation. A very large check from one party, directly negotiated with no middleman. The structure included common shares plus an equal number of warrants with a multi-year runway. In human terms, this is fresh fuel and an extra fuel canister if execution goes well. Why did Poet do it now? Because hardware companies trying to scale from engineering samples to repeat production need working capital when lead times, inventory, and customer qualification cycles converge. AI infrastructure is not a sell the slide deck game. It is a ship the module on time game. The Poet Technologies $75 million investment buys time, parts, and production capacity right when buyers are racing to expand AI fabrics. Keep that keyword in mind. It is not just about money, it is about timing. For a company like Poet Technologies, extending runway before large orders hit can be the difference between becoming a credible supplier and becoming a good idea that shipped late. Segment two, what Poet actually builds in plain English. Let us demystify the optical interposer. Think of the optical interposer as a wafer scale base where photonics and electronics can be positioned with extreme precision, passively without expensive finicky alignment steps. Instead of lots of little handoffs, you get one platform that brings lasers, modulators, detectors, and the control electronics together at the wafer level. What does that buy? Lower cost per bit, better power per bit, and a path to scale. Traditional wire bond assemblies struggle at very high speeds because long metal loops act like tiny antennas and introduce noise. On an optical interposer, those runs are short, shielded, and designed for speed. It is like moving from winding country roads to a clean interstate straight into the data center. Why does this matter for Poet stock? Because the Poet Technologies $75 million investment is only valuable if the technology translates into reliable parts that customers adopt at scale. The optical interposer is the mechanism that could make that happen. Segment 3. The demand wave, 800G now, 1.6T next. AI training clusters eat bandwidth for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. At 800 gigabit Ethernet, hyperscalers are adding lanes as fast as they can qualify modules and deploy them. Shipment growth at 800G has been strong this year, with the curve shaped by expanding AI fabrics rather than only classic cloud upgrades. Then there is the next on-ramp, 1.6 terabit. This is not just bigger numbers on a slide, it is an architecture push to keep GPUs and accelerators fed without melting power budgets. Poet's work with 1.6T receiver optical engines signals that the roadmap is not stuck in yesterday's speeds. If deliveries hit quality and schedule, that becomes evidence that the optical interposer platform is adaptable and future-proofed, 
Here is why this connects directly to the Poet Technologies' $75 million investment. When a company tells the market it is building engines for 1.6T, investors ask two questions. Can it ship at yield and can it afford the ramp? The new capital improves the answer to the second question. Execution must answer the first. Pause and drop a comment with one question you still have about the optical interposer. The best questions drive the next video and get pinned with resources. If this is useful, subscribe now, but do not bounce. The next segment maps the deal math, so dilution and warrants are not a mystery. Segment 4. Deal math. Dilution. Warrants. Runway. Any equity raise is dilutive. That is the cost of fuel. The important question is, does the fuel meaningfully increase the chance of getting to the destination? Here is how to think about it. First, runway. $75 million of gross proceeds can cover inventory builds, contract manufacturing deposits, expanded testing, and the working capital that turns purchase orders into shipped product. In hardware, being undercapitalized at ramp time is the fastest way to miss a window and lose a customer for an entire product cycle. Second, warrants. Warrants are a promise of potential future cash if the stock trades high enough to make exercising them rational. That means if execution lifts the stock above the strike for a sustained period, Poet could receive additional non-operational cash without another dilutive primary issuance. If execution falters, the warrants do not get exercised, and there is no second bite. Third, per share math, dilution reduces every existing piece of the pie, but if the pie itself becomes dramatically larger because the company can deliver into 800G and 1.6T programs, the per share value can still grow. That is why the Poet Technologies $75 million investment must be evaluated not just as a one-day headline, but as a multi-quarter execution story. If this deal math framing helps make sense of dilution versus opportunity, hit like and keep going. Next, we translate the tape action. Why the stock spiked and what to look for so the move is more than a sugar high. Segment 5, why the tape moved and what to watch. The day the deal closed, Poet stock ripped higher on very heavy volume. Why? Because a single-party, non-brokered raise at that size signaled confidence from someone with a deeper view than retail. Whether that someone is a strategic player or an institution will matter for narrative. But the immediate signal was funding overhang reduced, runway extended, optic story alive. But here is the reality. Spikes around financing often retrace unless the company stacks catalysts on top. In other words, the Poet Technologies $75 million investment is the spark. Execution is the oxygen. To avoid the fade, markets need to see production orders, shipment milestones, and customer logos moving from sampling to volume. What are tells to watch on the tape? Sustained elevated volume on up days, lighter volume on pullbacks, and a healthy reaction to neutral news. If every flat headline gets sold hard, it often means hot money is in control. If the stock starts building higher lows without constant headlines, that can mean real money is accumulating. Segment 6. Competitive Reality Check Let us be clear. This market is not empty. The optical transceiver market includes well-capitalized players with decades of design, packaging, and channel experience. The only way to win is to be measurably better where it counts. Cost per bit, power per bit, yield, and on-time delivery. The optical interposer is Poet's bet that wafer-level passive assembly makes that possible. What do sophisticated buyers look for? Repeatability. Can Poet build the same optical engine at the same spec again and again with yields that let pricing hold? Are the engines robust across temperature and shock? Do end customers see a step function advantage in power and latency? If yes, Poet can carve a lane even in a crowded field. Tie it back to the core phrase, when the Poet Technologies $75 million investment hit, the market started assigning a higher probability that Poet can reach that repeatability at scale. But probability is not proof. Proof is purchase orders, revenue recognition, and margin that does not vanish with the first production hiccup. If you want the next episode to cover the unit economics of 800G and 1.6T modules, bill of materials, yields, and realistic gross margin curves? Subscribe now. We are not wrapping up. The risk map is next, and this is where good analysis earns its keep. Segment 7, the risk map. Risk 1. 
pre-profit hardware ramp risk. Transitioning from samples to production is where many great concepts go to die. Yield issues, line downtime, or a single vendor bottleneck can push revenue to the right and burn cash faster than expected. Risk 2. Competitive pressure. Well-funded incumbents can cut pricing to defend share, especially if a new entrant threatens a crown jewel account. If price competition becomes a knife fight, the advantage must be either cost structure or unique performance that commands a premium. Risk 3. Customer concentration. Early revenue often comes from a small number of design wins. If one slips, the P and L wobbles. Diversification of logos and geographies matters. Risk 4. Supply chain and lead times. Lasers, specialized substrates, and packaging capacity can create invisible delays that management cannot fully control. Capital helps, but it does not magically create supply. Risk 5. Market cycle. AI CapEx is cyclical. If hyperscalers shift budgets or sequence deployments differently, module ramps can lag even if a supplier executes flawlessly. Risk 6. Further dilution. Warrants are potential capital, not guaranteed capital. If the stock trades below the strike, there is no second stage cash, and another raise could be needed. That is why the next two to three quarters of execution matter so much. Notice how each risk ties back to the core narrative. The Poet Technologies' $75 million investment improves runway, but it does not remove execution risk. It buys opportunity, not outcomes. Segment 8, The Catalyst Calendar Near-Term Catalyst 1 Beneficial Ownership Disclosures If the single investor crossed the regulatory threshold, a public filing will reveal identity and possibly intent. A strategic name can re-rate a story overnight. A standard fund can still be constructive, but the narrative is different. Near-Term Catalyst 2 Orders and Deliveries Production orders with planned deliveries, even if small at first, tell the market that labs are becoming lines. Shipment milestones that appear on time are even better. Near-Term Catalyst 3 Product Roadmaps Updates on 800G shipments and 1.6T readiness, including partner validations, help investors bridge from technology promise to commercial reality. Near-Term Catalyst 4 Market Data if industry trackers show sustained growth in 800G and accelerating interest in 1.6T, the tide can lift credible boats. If growth pauses, investors will demand more company-specific proof. Drop your single biggest question below about the optical interposer or the deal terms. The best questions become a dedicated follow-up with visuals and teardown. Hit, like if this is helping you think clearly, and share with one person who trades AI infrastructure so they do not chase headlines without a map. Segment 9. Pulling the Threads Together The signal you need to hear is this. Money is not the thesis, execution is. The Poet Technologies' $75 million investment is the bridge between prototype credibility and production credibility. Bridges must be crossed. The optical interposer is the method. The AI optics wave at 800G and 1.6T is the market context. The rest is blocking and tackling. Orders, yields, deliveries, margins. What does smart money do now? It frames scenarios. Bull case. Poet ships repeatable engines, grows revenue off a small base, and converts optionality and warrants into more runway with less dilution. Base case. Mixed execution, slower ramps, stock trades choppy while the market waits for proof. Bear case. Production delays and competitive pressure force more dilution before product market fit is obvious. Which path unfolds will not be decided by one headline. It will be decided by the quiet operational details that never trend on social but always show up in numbers. That is how hardware stories mature. You have just gotten one step smarter. To keep building your financial sense, watch the next deep dive. It links right here. And subscribe so you never miss an insight when catalysts drop. If the Poet Technologies' $75 million investment raised new questions for you, leave a comment with your biggest one. The right questions lead to the right answers. Let's get smarter about money. This is Smart Money Sense.